Hey, this is James Pelton, and continuing on, I'm going to do this once a month, my journey to 1K a day in stable passive income. So I wanted to do an update for you, show you where I'm at, show you which projects I'm in, how they're doing. No tomfoolery, we're going to jump right into it. Let's start with Warbots. So I increased my Warbot holdings. Again, That's I'm using a dollar cost average type strategy for Warbots, just buying a few more each batch. I buy them alongside you. you know, we have We come out with a batch. I buy a few just the same way that you guys do. We did hit 9% for the month of February, so I'm very optimistic about these going forward. There's 50 left in this batch. WarbotNFTs.com is where you get them from. Considering this a staple in my stable passive income. You see the pun there? That was nice. So currently have 16 of those running, averaging. I put 8% a month. We don't really, it varies month to month, but at 8% a month with 8,016 of those Warbots going, that'd be $21 a day. $640 a month. And what I'm trying to do with these stable plays is not go up a little bit. What I've seen so many times in the crypto space is you go up a little bit, then you lose all your money. Then you go up a little bit, then you lose all your money. And you don't really make any progress towards your goals. So Warbots, again, I think one of those things that is not like that, I think this will just continue to go up. So currently... $21 a day from Warbots. Then we have Project 79, and Project 79 is in a transition phase, so I'm not totally sure how to put it on the spreadsheet. We're kind of waiting for more details. I'm gonna have the Project 79 team on for an AMA here shortly just to talk through things, but I currently have 50K in there. I'm doing the transition process. Again, I like the team. They've not let us down in the past. They've been successful with Hydro Whales. They've been successful with Project 79 up to this point. So I'm gonna continue trusting them. They're saying we'll probably at first at least continue the about 6.5% a month. So again, on my 50K in there, that'd be 109 bucks a day. Next, we have Biometric Financial and they have updated their website. So I really like this. It's some of the coolest technology, I think, and some of the biggest future vision that I see of anything. But again, they do biometrics on the blockchain and some of the things they're looking at is never enter a password again helping with password resets, money transfers, all using your face and your voice and your eye print and things like that. I always say eye print, but that I, that sounds painful. I don't think that's the right word for it. But again, I have a significant BioFi holding, 40K in there. So you can stake your BioFi to get about 30% APR. So that's about with my 40K in there, that's about $32 a day that I'm getting from that. And the next I have Constellation and I have my soft node there. So I have about 300K DAG or so. The price has been kind of mostly down, honestly. We're unsure of exactly when they're launching and things like that. I want to have the team back on and just get an update. Once projects are actually able to start launching on Constellation, that I assume will make the price go up. So waiting and holding on to that. But with my 14K in there, 13K, I'm making about seven bucks a day. So the next we have Flux Node. Again, this is something your friend Andy got me into. I have 40K Flux in there, I'm making about 12 bucks a day on the node. Also working on an NFT project. If you wanna be in a Flux Node, but you don't wanna go through the technical skills of getting it set up, and you also don't want 40,000, to get the max amount in your node, you need 40,000 Flux, which is about $25,000 right now. So if you don't wanna put that much in, but you want exposure to Flux, working on an NFT to help you get into that as well. Currently, my Flux Node with 25K in there is making 12 bucks a day. Again, not a lot. We're talking about, this is about 17% APR, but if it's in something stable, and I do believe the price of Flux, when we get back to a bull market, I think I'm going to appreciate having that exposure to the appreciation of the price of Flux as well. And next, this is a new project from Warfi called Vladiators, and it's a, they always like the soldier theming, but it's basically just a way to get into an Ethereum validator node. And I've had a lot of people tell me, hey, nodes are a scam. We don't want nodes. This is not nodes like strong nodes or Thor nodes or anything like that. These are actual, you're actually staking 32 Ethereum into a validator that is actually making the blockchain run and receiving rewards. It's not a significant amount of rewards, 7% APR. So I kind of look at this as like a savings account for your Ethereum. So if you believe the price of Ethereum is going to appreciate, you can put it into Vladiators where you get not only that appreciation of the price of Ethereum, but you also get a little extra Ethereum on the side. So it's kind of like having a bank account where you're getting 7% APR in it. That's the way that I look at something like Vladiators. So next we're gonna go to the non-crypto stuff. And we have first my Forex bots. So these have been doing fairly well. It looks like we're on track to hit about 5% for the month of 
March. So very happy with that. Again, I've been messing with the risk to try to be in that four to 6% range. I don't want to go too high because again, trying to avoid just this, oh, look, you made 20% this month. Oh, look, you lost everything. Some of you might be familiar with the Vertex bots that I've done a video for them before. They were getting 20%, I think in February, but then a day in March, there was some anomaly in the markets and a lot of Vertex bots went to zero. And that's what happens with a lot of these bots. So you just want to be careful. So again, I'm shooting for four to 6% and not lose all your money. We're currently sold out. I'll be opening a new batch here shortly. I want to get the other batches all up and running first, but I'm up to seven of those. Again, another thing I'm going to just be dollar cost averaging into. So each month buy a couple more, hopefully just increase that journey, move forward in that journey. Journeys are supposed to be forward, not backwards. So that's the plan with Forex Bot NFTs. I also have my Fulfilled by Amazon store. Again, making about 1500 bucks a month. DL Capital, I've talked about most of these before. So if you wanna hear more info, I'll leave a link to the last journey to 1K a day and stable passive income. You can learn more about those. So moment of truth, did I move forward in my journey in stable passive income? If you remember, this was, day, this was episode one. This was the middle of February, but I was at $480 a day. And my goal is, can I be ahead of $480 a day? So drum roll, $487.46 a day. Yeah, that's right. That's what we want to see. So moving forward, we're $7 a day closer to our goal. So if we have $520 to go per day and we're going up $7.46, It'll per month, it'll take us about 70 months to reach our goals, but I think we'll be make, we'll make progress faster as we go. So I do also want to talk through my semi degen and degen plays just so you can see those again. Sometimes some of you might even skip ahead in the video to this point to get to, Hey, let's get to the degen stuff. We're not interested in this 1% a month or 6% a month. Give us this 17% a month, 32% a month. So I will walk through those. I want to please everyone. And I do still, I make money from these and I use this money. And one of my goals is to take money from these and put them into these things up here. Again, these are my safer buckets up here. This is my number that I'm really looking at, but I can use money from these riskier plays to get into those things. So I have two secret projects. Both of these have requested I not mention them on YouTube. One is I have about 33K in, it's making about 17% a month. The other is I only have 1500 in. I'll put in more as soon as they're allowing. It's making about 31% a month. Again, these are more on the degen side. We'll have, I'll show you my full degen ones here in a little bit as well. But if you want access to either of those, you are gonna have to join my community, okay? And it's not a ploy to join my community. It's just a perk of being in my community as we have information on the secret projects. I also do have MDB in my semi degen. And again, I could be talked into moving it into my stable maybe some of you might say move it down to your dgen so i'd love to hear in the comments please hit like if you like this journey and comment down below if you disagree you think hey mdb should be moved up to stable hey warbot should move to be moved to stay semi dgen i'm up for feedback i might ignore it but i enjoy hearing it nonetheless so M mdb i have 20k in there making about six dollars a day and then this auto mdb i wish i'd put more in you guys told me to put more into this. This could maybe be moved up to stable because there's it's actual revenue coming from that swap and the sales tax from MDB to BNB, but making about 10% a month, 2K in there, so doing very well. EMP has actually had a little bit of a boost here recently, which is good to see. But I have 30K in there, making about $27 a day. And then two I added that I had forgotten last time, and I'll be adding more projects as they come to mind and as I think you know what, this project actually has a good future ahead of it all included in here, but Comb Financial, I have about 1200 bucks in there and it's making about 7% a month. So 77 bucks per month. And I really like that team. And then blast from the past, Olympus Dow. At one point I had about 60K in Olympus during actually early in the bear market, it crashed down to almost nothing. And it's just been on a steady rise since then. And when I read their white paper, I actually kind of some of the stuff that they're doing. They actually have a cool vision. So I decided to include it in here, but I have about 4K and making about $13 a day off of that. So then we're gonna get to full degen, okay? And all of these projects are upset with me, pretty much, except for maybe Elephant. I don't think a bank teller's too angry with me, but they're all upset with me for putting them in degen, for saying I have hesitations about what they're doing. It's amazing. The only thing I've gotten more hate for than 
talking positively about these degen projects is when I talk negatively about them. I get actually more hate. So it's a, it's a lose-lose, but that's fine. I'm learning to deal with it. GS Partners, I have 60K in there. It's been paying out fine. So again, you could call that a plus. You could call that what's legitimate. I've been getting my return. I've been getting 12% a month. I've been getting $228 a day, but it's not something I'm not looking to increase from that 58K I have in there. It's stuff that I'm gonna move to the more stable stuff. Same with Drip, it's actually been holding at about 40 cents for the last month, so it's good to see that sharp decline stopping, but I again, I don't see it going much higher. We might have these occasional, when a new utility comes out, you might have this occasional boost up to 50 or 60 cents, but so many people holding onto their Drip that it's. I think it's gonna just go back down. These are fine to mess around with, but just enter at your own peril. Okay, these are not, I don't think you should be putting money you need into these projects. They're games where, hey, you might make a whole bunch of money. 31% a month is a lot to be making, but you also might lose a lot of money. So tread carefully with these DGen plays. There's a place in your portfolio for DGen plays. As you can see, I put quite a bit into some of these, but it's just, it's not stable. That's basically what I'm trying to say. ArcFi, same thing. I had some drama with them. Their team's not happy with me for they paid for an AMA and they say that I should only say positive things about them. I just, it's fine. It's doing great. But again, getting the 62% a month, I just it just can't last. There's not the revenue to support that. And eventually the price of the coin is gonna run out. It could be two years in the future. You might get this 62% a month for two years and you not regret being in something like ArcFi, but I just, I can't put it up in my stable stuff. It's not something that I would be like, oh yeah, put money into that and feel good. It'll be there for a long time. That's just not what I think. And I'm not gonna say things I don't think. I know some people are gonna be upset about this, but also putting elephant money down in the DGen category, uh, people are gonna disagree. They're gonna say, no, that should be in stable, but it just is not, okay? every. Part trunk, I have 17,000, I have $17,000 in trunk. It is not done well. I had about $6,000 in elephant. There was an exploit, it's not done well. So I just can't in good conscience put this higher, you know, maybe prove to me. Again, let me know in the comments, hey, no elephant at least belongs in the semi degen. And I have the numbers in here because I'm actually working through trunk. My trunk is actually gone and I'm working with BT as to why that is. I know there was some kind of migration or something like that. Um, that's where we're at with Elephant. And then last, we have Crypto Program. Again, just skeptical of the 25% a month. I have been making the $375 a month. I've cashed out uh, once. There'd be argument to say, maybe you should put in more if you're getting the 25% a month and you can get your initial back. But again, I just consider it degen. Again, 1,355% APY is not a real thing. There's not revenue that's gonna support that kind of return. But I hope I'm wrong on all these. I, I don't people understand that when I put things in DGEN, it's not like I'm hoping they fail. I have significant amount of money in a lot of these. I hope they do well. Like if people think I'm like an enemy of the Drip network, but it's like if Drip went up, no one would be happier with Drip going back to all time highs than me, okay? I was making at some point $6,000 a day off of my drip holdings. I would love to get back to that, but it's just not in my opinion what's gonna happen. So anyways, in the semi-degen and degen, I have 158K. So total in my passive income journey, 675K in there, making about 6% a month. Is it degen and non-degen together, 1450 per day. So we'll wrap up there. Hope you enjoyed this. Please hit like on your way out. Let me know if you'd like any changes to this journey. Is there more info? I'm pretty much an open book. I'll tell you everything. I'm not smart enough to figure out what I'm supposed to hide, what I'm supposed to show. Show everything and then you can do with it as you will. So appreciate you guys. Really enjoy making these types of videos and I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much.